I should have fixed my shirt before I went live. How are you? You guys are gonna laugh. You guys are going to laugh. Does my lighting look amazing? Can you see the reflection in my glasses? This is what happens when you decide to clean out, um, when you decide to clean out a closet and you start finding things. Let me see, what's my little plus sign say? Oh, okay. I'm gonna be posting a picture, like a little video for you guys later because this is so hilarious. So I'm digging, I'm digging through a closet um, and I'm looking at all of the swag that I have because I'm gonna be doing some swag things. And um, I find this box. The heavens only know how long I've had this, okay? Okay, this is what it said. Selfie ring light. What is that? I don't know what that is. How long have I had that? I don't know. Was it a corporate thing? No, turns out I bought it. I bought it on Amazon. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you right here, okay? Don't look at my mess. Okay, look. Do you see this? Wait, can I just flip the camera around? I can. Yeah, that's easier. Look, look. It's got a clippy. I thought that this was supposed to clip onto my desk and I didn't want to ruin my desk. Although, am I hurting my, um, my beautiful steering wheel? Okay, well, I might have to look into that. All right, but look, you guys, stop it right now. All of these twisty things, it was like, I, I pull this out of the box and I'm going, what do I do with this? These things are all bendy. And then look, it plugs into my lighter my USB thingy, and then I can turn the light on and off. Is that, and then look, I can have different shades of lighting. If you want, if you want warm sherry, or you want cool sherry, or you just want regular daylight sherry. And then I can make it, like, make it lighter. If I don't want so much light, or if I want more light. Is that not hilarious? Don't you love it? Look at me. And here I've been propping my phone up on my steering wheel. But like, really, this better not be leaving a, a mark on my, okay, hold on. You're just gonna have to hang with me here for like just a hot sec, because I'm gonna use my mask to wrap it around. Wait, hold on, stay right there. I know, it's the weirdest live we've ever done, but it's okay, we're friends, and we'll be fine. And we're gonna just be right back here in just a jiffy. But I'm gonna use my mask. We're gonna have, listen, when this COVID business is over, we're gonna all have um, a mask burning ceremony, are we not? You have this, yes, Magdalene, use it in your car. So now I'm hooking you in. So now I can have better angles. Oh, <gasps> okay, well, I'll get you figured out next time before I go live, but I ha you know sometimes how it holds it and then it'll just like spit it out. Wait, you're too close. <laughs> I love you, but back off. Okay. There you are. Hi. Look at me with my lighting system. Okay, that light's getting really hot. I'm going to turn that off because I'm sitting outside, so I don't really... Well, is it better? No, I don't really need it. I feel like I feel like I have an alien. I feel like men in black. That's what it is. I'm Sherry in black, and I've got this, like, weird little um, animal monster guy. Okay? Okay. Yes, show me a picture, Magdalene. How are you guys? Happy Friday. Thanks for tuning in. And I hate the earbud because it makes me feel like I'm deaf. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, we are going to crack the code. We're going to get out our crystal ball. We're going to figure out what your business is going to look like in 90 days. You guys are really smart. You already know the answer to this. I know you know the answer to this. How do you figure out what your business is going to look like 90 days from today? Think about where we are, August, right? 20 something, I don't know. It's all a blur. But but I do know, word on the street is, we're like towards the end of August. Okay, August, September, October, November. Black Friday is gonna be happening in 90 days. It might be happening 90 days from today, I don't know. But if it's not 90 days from today, it's 90 days from next Friday. If that doesn't make your butt twitch just a little, I don't know what will. Um, so here's the deal. If you wait 
to November, November is the best month of the year. It's, it's, there's only one other month that usually typically rivals November. And that is either it's somewhere in the spring, either April or May it just kind of depends on what we have going on. Uh, this November is going to be unlike any November we've ever had because, um, we've learned a lot in the last few years as far as stock levels, as far as what is necessary. Um, I know for a fact corporate has been working on Black Friday and holiday things since January. Um, cause I was in some meetings and talking about different things. I don't know what they're doing. Cause this is the thing they ask for opinions and they ask for ideas and what, what worked, what didn't work, all this stuff. But then I'm like, well, you know, if you want to circle back and like, give me a heads up on like what's going down, like I would love that part, but I don't get that part. I just get the beginning part. <laughs> it's okay. I like to be surprised. So if you have found yourself ever having the thought of, oh gosh, I hope I have a really good November, you are in trouble. If you've ever thought of, oh, I hope next month is going to be a good month, you are in trouble. If you've ever had the thought, oh my gosh, I hope that the kudos next month is really good. I really want a good month. You are in trouble because you are handing your power over to something and someone else that you have no control over. You have the power to have the best month of your life whenever you decide to have the best month of your life. When I first started seven years ago, kudos sucked. It was awful. It was awful, you guys. You would laugh. You would laugh. It was like, it was like a little, like a little headband. Or, or I can't even remember some of the, I mean, like on purpose, on purpose, we wouldn't talk about it. Okay. It was like a little necklace that said unique or something, but it turned green. Like, you know what I mean? But you know what? The best gift in the world at that time, the best gift we were ever given was that kudos sucked. Cause you know what it did? It forced us to take responsibility and ownership of our own business, okay? We had to decide that we were going to succeed regardless of what was happening at corporate. And that was with five products to sell. I, I'm telling you for, for the first, what, three years, all I sold was mascara, 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 mascara. You can make a living on mascara. You can, you can. Because think about it. If people say, well, no, I have to be able to sell foundation as well as mascara and all this stuff. Okay, if you're gonna sell the foundation and the mascara together, yes. But if you're the type that, like most people, that don't do consultations and don't build up a customer's order, right? That most people don't upsell on the regular. They're missing a huge opportunity, but that's a whole other Oprah. A foundation's $39, a mascara's $29. A foundation takes a lot more of your time to sell. So, cause you got a color match and skin type, all that business, right? As opposed to a mascara. Mascara, you post a picture, they like it, they don't. They like it, they don't. You show pictures of different people. It doesn't have to be you all the time. They like it or they don't. And you sell them that mascara. You sell it to the masses. You sell it like, like your life depended on it. And when you follow up, you offer a color match to help her get her foundation. So then the next time she buys, at some point, she's going to be ordering foundation and then mascara. Then she runs out of foundation and then mascara. And at some point she'll buy it at the same time, but you're building up your customer, your customer's portfolio, so to speak. Okay. So don't leave it up to somebody else. You decide for yourself. So get yourself your planner. Remember I told you, you need a planner. You need a planner. Now I'm going to give you a little, a little tidbit right now. 
Do you remember last Friday when um, I mentioned to you about a September sleigh? I do believe I messaged you. I mean, messaged you. I'm, I saw your, somebody said message and my brain went, what? Um, I have to stop looking as I get distracted. But do you remember that I told you about a September sleigh? Well, um, I have put in like so many hours in the last week to get this September sleigh up and running. What is a September sleigh, Sherry Brown? September sleigh, we've done it every year. And this year I thought, okay, I'll just copy and paste from last year, right? Just reuse the same stuff. And I started looking at it and I was like, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Things have changed. It needs updating. We have so many great new things, um, tools, ideas, personal development things and whatever. So I started diving in. Have you ever dived into a project that you're very excited about? I was very, very, very excited about it. I still am. And I became obsessed. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to sleep. It's all I wanted to work on because I got to get this thing done. Um, so I'm not joking. I'm not kidding that within the last 10 days, I've put in at least 30 hours into this thing. Now, look, I'm going to share it with you. Okay. And when you see it, <laughs> I know that I run the risk when I'm all, I've spent over 30 hours on this thing. You're going to go, this took you 30 hours. You would be surprised how long it takes to put that stuff together because it's got to have a flow. It's got to have a flow. Like it's got to make sense. And then, you know, it's like, oh, okay, well I'm doing posts, but then I get to like day 10 and I was like, oh no, but I want them to be able to do X, Y, Z. Okay, wait, no, we got to go back to day two. They have to learn that on day two so that then by day 10, they know how to do it. So then I had to tweak day two then, but then that means I have to tweak day three and day four and day five. It was, I, th I thought I was going to lose my mind up in here, up in here. I did, but it is pretty much done. I, I turned it over to, but here's what I did. It is a collaboration. I compiled it, but I pulled from the top leaders. I pulled from those who, who have been standing on that stage, earning awards for selling, for sponsoring, for, for affiliate qualified links. I'm using their wording. Um, I might've seen something that you posted and I snagged that too. I mean, I got no shame. I'm pulling the best of what I can find. Okay. And I put it together the best I can. I turned it over for <clears throat> some of my leaders to look at and they're going to take this next week and they're going to look at it and they're going to tell me where they see gaps, where they see issues. Um, I want this up and ready to roll by next Friday so that now this doesn't mean you stop on your August. Okay. This doesn't mean you wait until September because if you're thinking to yourself, Oh, you know what? All right. There's only like a week and a half left in, in August. So I'll just start fresh in September. You have a problem if your brain went there and I'm going to flick you and tell you right now, stop it. You need to be selling as much as you possibly can. You need to be building your relationships as quickly as you possibly can because it will only help you come September. It will only help you come forever, okay? Build your network as quickly as you possibly can. I'm gonna make this available to you. Uh, I got a couple ideas how I'm gonna do it because there's a lot of you. So, oh good, Victoria gives me permission to flick away. So, stay tuned. I'll announce it to you next Friday. Tune in next Friday to my Friday Facebook Live. I will be here at 9 o'clock. And you know what? I'm going to be more consistent, okay? Because I'm going to tell you what's happened. So, this has to do with you and your planning out your 90 days as well, okay? My life, I have, I have turned a corner. I have leveled up. I have leveled up and I feel it for the first time. It is so different. It is a leveling up that I've never had before. And here's how I did it. In July, no, June, I got a planner. 
And I've told you, I buy planners every year and then they're beautiful and then they sit there and I don't write in them and at the end of the year, I throw them away. They sit there empty and I feel like they're judging me. I don't open it because the amount of time it takes for me to write it down in there, I could be working. Okay. That was some stinking thinking. But but it, there's some reality there too though. I mean, you feel me on this, right? I'm not going to put, I used to buy the stickers and the things. I'm like, I, this is like, I'm not here to for, for art time. I'm here to get down to business. So I took a day, a couple of hours in June and I mapped out my July. What do I want to do in July? What is important to me? What do I need to do with my team? What, you know, and I wrote everything down, everything. My husband walked by, he goes, I can't do planners because this makes me crazy. And I said, do you know that this is only half of what's in my brain? Because I had to go buy a second planner. I had to keep one planner for my team and my business and another planner for my personal Sherry Brown self and my personal business. Yeah. Okay. So I've learned some things. I've learned a lot of things. So you need to start where you're at. Plan out your September right now. What are you going to do on September 1st? What is your goal for September? How many new people do you want to meet? So let's just start there. How many new friends do you want to add? You add friends through your affiliate links, okay? Affiliate links, the only downside to them that I can see is you don't grow the network as quickly as you do with an online party. It's really potato patata, okay? Because an affiliate is just an updated version of a party, okay? So consider doing an affiliate, but putting her and her friends into a group, okay? I have a, a friend that I was talking with last night she was telling me, and look, this is all more art than science, okay? So try a little bit of this, try a little bit of that. Try it the traditional way, try it, see what works for you. And you know what? Just because something doesn't work one time or five times or 10 times, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's just you never know what's gonna be the perfect fit for that particular customer, right? So just try different things and see what you're the most comfortable with because whatever you're the most comfortable with, you're gonna have better energy with it, you're gonna be a little more pumped, and you're gonna get better results. So you can take that affiliate, put her in a group, and tell her to add 30 of her friends. You give her the posts to make every day for like five to six days, okay? A lot of people do six days. I like six days better. Um, you leave the link open for 10, the full 10, because you might as well, because hey, any extra orders can get her more Y cash, right? So you put them in that group. Now, one of the issues with affiliates is sometimes I've heard people say, oh, you know, she's not posting. She didn't share, you know, or anything. Well, always goose her to share. Just say, hey girl, you know, da 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 da. Here's, don't forget the post for today. But if you're in a group, you can say, hey girl, don't forget to do your post this morning because I am gonna go live later today to show them how to use the Twisted Mascara. I'm gonna post a video later today. So you're kind of double teaming those customers, those new friends, and those new friends know who you are and it gives you the perfect reason to reach out to those new friends and send them a friend request. But you don't just send them a friend request because that's creepy. You are gonna send them a friend request and a message. And you are gonna message them and say, hey Natasha, listen, uh, my name is Sherry, I'm Lisa's friend. Lisa is my affiliate this week. Um, and so she puts you, my affiliate, my lash affiliate, whatever I sell, like twisted mascara. I sell the, this amazing new mascara and she puts you in this group. I just wanted to let you, I just wanted to say hello. I hate it when I'm added to groups and people don't let me know. I just want to say hi. I just want to introduce myself. And then you can go live in there and introduce yourself. They're getting to know you and it's not weird that you're sending them a friend request. You see? One affiliate, 30 friends. You just made 30 friends. 
Okay, do two affiliates, do three, do four, do five. I'm telling you right now, it is easier to do five, six, seven, eight affiliates. It's easier to do that than it is to do two or three. Why? Because statistically speaking, if you do three affiliates, only one is going to do anything. The other two are going to suck. Okay. But wait a minute, you put them in groups. So even though they sucked, you just made 90 new friends, right? Cause you got 30, 30, 30 and I can do math and that's 90. Okay. So it's not a loss because I'm going to break, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I'm going to blow your mind right now. Okay. The next rock star presenter that joins your team, you don't know her yet. You haven't met her yet. She is hiding behind one of your Facebook friends. She is hiding in a room behind your affiliate. You haven't met her yet yet and you need to find her okay you don't need to create her you just need to find her any of you that have a rock star on your team did you do anything to make her a rock star she showed up with with glitter and and unicorns am i right yes she did and you were just there to say oh oh you need the okay here this is how you click this is how you do a rewards link Oh, you need, she comes to you. Hey, where do I find this? Where do I find this? What do I do with this? And you're like, oh, okay, okay. And she takes off. Because people who have a strong leg in their company, the leader often feels guilty. It's a true story. People who have a strong leg, the leader very often feels guilty because they're like, she didn't need me. Like I didn't have anything to do with her success. Like I didn't have, like they don't feel worthy to have the rock star. They just found the rock star. So you can find this person, but you, I mean, if you've, okay, we're, I've been watching a lot of survivor reruns with my son. So we're doing a survivor challenge. Okay. Survivor challenge. We got two piles of rocks on your market set. Go. Okay. Amatepe, Team Amatepe over here is going to start digging in the rocks. And Team Hoochie Mama over here is going to start digging in the rocks. Well, guess what? Amatepe is taking their sweet old time looking at a rock, trying to make the rock do, right? You're trying to find glitter rocks. Is this a glitter rock? That might have some glitter. Maybe if I shined it up over here. Okay, but Hoochie Mama team over here is grabbing rocks and they are just going to town. Nope, nope, not a glitter, not a glitter, not a glitter, not a glitter, not a glitter. They're digging in the middle and they're going to find that glitter because they're doing it fast. Because what do I tell you? You do a lot of activity in a short amount of time. If you have plans for September, and let's just say you decide, I'm going to do 10 affiliate links in the month of September. Okay, affiliate links only last three, I'm sorry, they only last 10, I told you I was good with math, they only last 10 days. You're only gonna be able to do three rounds. So if you're doing 10 in the whole month, that's like three, three, four, okay? That is gonna be harder on you mentally than if you did 10 affiliates in the first two weeks. I'm telling you right now, that is gonna be harder on you than if you did 10 affiliates in the first two weeks. And here's the bonus. Doing 10 affiliates in the first two weeks is going to boom your business and you're gonna be so fired up, you're gonna then do another 10 in the last two weeks you are going to have at least 20 affiliates in the month of September. If you have 20 affiliates times 30, is that 600 people? 
Did I just do the math? That's 600 new Facebook friends in 30 days. Are you sitting down for this? Are you calculating? Because everybody who buys from you in September, they might buy from you again in October. They absolutely will buy from you in November. Because November is going to be, listen, people put their shopping hats on. Okay? Shopping hats on. So, if you start now, and you get 600 new people in September, and then why not do it again in October? Get 600 people in October. Those 1,200 people are going to be watching you come November. And all of the sales, all of the business that you are going to do in November could change your life. It really could. It changed mine. I had that rock in November back in 2013 and nothing's been the same since because you're not going to have time to follow up with all of those people in November or December really. That's what January's for. That's why January being slower typically is such a blessing because that's when you get to sit down and it's not so frantic. You get to build relationships with all of those people. You've got work to do, sisters and brothers. <laughs> You've got work to do in January. You need to sit your booty down and build relationships with every single one of them. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. How many messages can you send? And I don't mean copy and pasting. I don't mean voice recording and forwarding. If you want that customer to spend 10 minutes on your website looking at your products, then you need to spend five minutes on her. It's the least you can do. And I feel like everything in this world, I know that everything in this world is energy and what you put out will come back to you. And if you sit and for every single person that you message, you look at their Facebook profile, you visualize them, you look at their family, you look at their life and you visualize them and you hold them in high esteem in your head and you message them from your heart, you will see such better results than if you just copy paste copy paste because you're copying and pasting you don't give a crap about her you just want her to buy something you just want her money and most of you that I talk to who struggle uh, with selling it's because you don't want to seem salesy and you don't want to seem like you're going at people just for their money um, so this fits perfectly in with that it fits perfectly in with that but this is what you're doing in January and February and the thing is it's a slower pace but it's a bigger average sale because, and now you're still posting about Twisted and you're still, you know, offering affiliate links to all of these people. But what you're probably going to find is you're going to be getting so many affiliates because you have 1,200 people. I mean, come on, <laughs> right? You're going to be having to book yourself out through January into February. You're going to have your affiliates rolling months ahead of time months ahead of time okay you have the power to drive this bus wherever you want and you can drive it off in a ditch if you decide but i hope that you don't right i hope that you don't i know you won't so stay tuned next friday because i uh, like i said i'm gonna share with you and you're free to like take the content create a group add your team do it together um, you know, on some of the tasks, everything is doable. Everything is doable. And what you're going to see is that everything has a rhythm. Every week has a rhythm and it's rinse and repeat. So much of it is rinse and repeat. Um, I was talking to you about how I felt like I leveled up, right? So doing my, pa my calendar in July taught me a lot 
So I tweaked it for August. I ended up having those two planners and then I realized, okay, that's a hot mess because I'm upstairs and one planner's here and one planner's downstairs. No, so then I got a bigger planner and I'm transitioning into the bigger planner and I'm getting rid of the two smaller planners. But I am scheduling out with intention every single thing that I'm doing. I don't have to wake up until eight o'clock in the morning but I get up at seven and I think I'm actually gonna start getting up at 6.30. This is unprecedented, guys. I have never in my life set an alarm to get up when I didn't need to get up, okay? But I was listening to Mel Robbins, listening to Brendan Burchard, listening to all these people that say you have to have a morning routine. I'm not a morning person, I don't like routine. So that just wasn't for me, but you know what? They keep saying that this is what billionaires are doing. Well, dang it, if a billionaire is doing it, I'm gonna do it. I need that beach house. It's changed my life. My alarm goes off at seven and I give myself me time until nine. I don't have to work. I, I'm not supposed to. This morning I kind of got, because I was getting ready for this. So this morning, like I did a live doing my mascara because I knew I wanted to do that. Anyways, the matrix, is, matrix isn't perfect, but... I give myself those two hours to do my exercise, take a shower, do my meditation, get my makeup on, read, like whatever it is that I want to do for me, I get up for me. At nine o'clock, I find that my day is much calmer and it's so much more organized. So yes, Robin, I've heard of that book, The Miracle Morning. I need to read that. Um, so because of that, I'm much more organized. I'm much calmer. Um, the day isn't bouncing me around. I'm bouncing the day around people. Okay. Okay. I'm much more efficient. I'm setting alarms on my phone like I never have before. I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm going to take an hour and I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get up and I'm going to go do something else. And then, I, you know, like I'm just boom, 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 boom. It's very hard to stick to it. It's very hard to stick to it. Um, you know, I have a hard stop at night. Um, last night was a little different because I really wanted that September sleigh off my shoulders. So I stayed up till 10 o'clock, got it all done. But most nights by seven o'clock, it's a hard stop and I'll pick it back up in the morning. It's the beauty and the, and the beast of working from your phone. It's cause it's always there. Okay. So, uh, make sure you're turning off your notifications or you're doing the do not disturb feature. If you have an iPhone so that it doesn't bug you after seven. Okay. Or whatever time works for you and your family. It keeps me inspired. It keeps me from getting worn out. The time that I'm off from 7 p.m. at night until 9 o'clock the next morning, my brain gets a chance to rest and I'm finding that I'm more inspired and I'm starting to get more ideas. I'm starting to get more creative ideas. Um, I'm, I'm feeling lighter because I've given myself a break. So think about that. Consider that for yourself. This is what a planner is going to do for you. Also, I will just let you know, day one, September one, I'm going to ask you to get a planner. It's, it's in the September sleigh. Get a planner. Okay. Get a planner. All right. I love you guys. So, so I will see you next Friday at 9 a.m. When have I ever been able to say that before? Usually I just wait to see what the day holds. No, no, no. Now I know. 9 a.m. is my time with you every Friday that we're going to spend together and we're going to move mountains and you are going to have the best next 90 days of your entire life and it is going to launch you into 2021 and the good news is 2021 has to be better than 2020. Am I right? We're almost done guys. We're almost done with this year, okay? And then we can just learn our lessons, take what we've learned, make some things better, appreciate what we had before that we took for granted. Um, yeah, right? Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.